What's up guys, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we have Naruto versus Sasuke. So I did this, it's Chidori versus Rasengan. I did this like three years ago, I think. And uh, it was one of my first, uh, I think it was the first versus one I did on this. And uh, I just wanted to do it again, kind of an updated one, kind of maybe, maybe better, who knows. But, um, you know, because you improve as the years go on, so. Um, uh, these are like the, these two guys classic um what would you say rivalry in anime one of the best you know goku vegeta naruto sasuke landscape paper use a pencil eraser hit pause if i go too fast so we're going to start with naruto throwing the rasengan then do sasuke so middle point my page about here come over to the right we're going to start with his nose we're going to do this l-shaped nose right so this way first and then down like that right this L kind of shape. Then his brow comes up and up for his forehead. And how high up? Maybe like here. Right. And then if we know where his brow is, we know where his eyebrow is. So tick pretty nearly straight up that way. Right. And then you just add another line on the other side where you'll color in. So his eye comes out from underneath his eyebrow. So it just curves across here. And then in this drawing, we just have like a little line coming down here and you can thicken up your top eyelid a little bit. Just add a bit more pencil. You know, you should be using pencil for your drawings first at least, and then ink afterwards. And there's like a little line just down there. And then we can't see his bottom eyelid apart from just this kind of thing. Just a curved line around like that. So his iris inside, right, is drawn as an ellipse. And what that means is it's like a circle, skinny sort of circle, right? So it's like real thin at the front, right? And then it comes around the back. So real, you're going for real long and thin, right? Because he's looking this way. The eye is turned. And then his pupil is like there. That's a real small. Okay, looking that way. So now we'll finish his face. So his top lip, where is that? No, wait, one more line, sorry. His top lip, just a little line on his frowning eyebrow there. And then his top lip comes out like so. We go in like this, and his mouth, we can see his teeth. So it goes up, down, like that. So it's kind of mouth closed. And then it'll come across like this. And then his bottom lip sort of sticks out here, goes back in. And then we can see the teeth at the front, so like here. And then there is some teeth lines kind of coming across there. Oh yeah, and his nostril there bottom lip comes down it joins the chin so we'll go down like so and then we will bring it around so it'll go around like this and then down into his neck and it goes that way so we can't really see a jawline there's well we can a little bit up here towards his ear so like normally where the jawline would be say like curve around here you just leave a gap and then you start again some in some pictures that jawline is drawn in so you know you have the choice really it's up to you we can see like his hair spikes just coming down underneath his headband just here and his headband roughly will come across this way we we'll just draw in his ear first comes up and down like so and then ear lines inside so now remember, if I go too fast, hit pause. Right. Slow it down for yourself if I'm going too quick. That's the beauty of YouTube. You are in control. Right, so then his headband, right, just coming across the front here. So, let's see, where? We go. Here, 
looks good. I think. Yeah. So we go back this way. We jump behind his ear a little bit to there. And then his eyebrow should go up that way. And then this kind of goes up there and goes up behind here. And then of course we have his metal plate on the front of his head. So it kind of like sticks out a little bit here. Bumps up. Bumps up there. And then it comes back and then down. And then some bolts just on his head like that. And then the rest of the headband goes up this way. And then we have some hair spikes like sticking out, but we'll just finish the headband going back. So like, he's got hair here coming down from the front of the headband. So the front of the headband goes like that way. And then back. And then another hair spike going this way, up, and then the headband goes back that way, and then more hair down here, back here, up to there. And I, I think he has like a hair spike coming off the front of his like head here, and then we go up this way. We should be able to see maybe a little bit of the leaf kind of spiral thing here, but not much. And there could be like a line just coming across the headband that way. And there is a tied sort of section just here. And um, right, so the rest of the hair then, classic sort of Naruto spiking, simple kind of hair, just goes the whole way around. And then his, uh, well, he's got these tr uh, tied pieces of hair, but we'll do the reset because the resengan's at the back, so we got to draw that first because then they go over it. So we'll just leave that for a second. So then, back of his head just comes down here, like that, and then like some a hairline just here, and then he has that bumpy collar that comes the whole way across, right? So it like goes, well, bumps like this. And like that, right? It might be a, another sort of bumpy sort of area. Back here. And then eventually it'll come down to his shoulder. And then he's got like lines coming down from these, you know, because they're raised up. So we'll just on the front, just there. So we sh his back is like here. He's like leaning forward, right? So so let's say shoulder. This way, right? Like so, and then we go back like this and kind of bumps around here down up to there, and another sort of line coming across the back of the collar. These may bump just here, see the bottom of them like that, and then the rest of his shoulder on the other side. down, up again for a fold, and down here. So then he has that uh, spiral on his, or a scroll, like it's a, it's a scroll really on his shoulder. So we'll draw that in. And we'll do it kind of simple, we won't make it too difficult. 
kind of like that and then the spiral like so to that there and then his arm comes down this way we got like a bump here and then another full line going back towards his armpit back of his arm here and then we have that other spiral on his back so we do a circle now if you have something circular to draw around feel free I've been meaning to buy a stencil that has loads of different circle sizes on it but I haven't found a good one I think it's because I draw kind of too big and then the spiral comes around here. It would help with circles. Because I'm not great. They're hard. So then separation of the orange and black color. And then we have some more fold lines just here on his clothing. Like the side of his body and a fold line. And there might be like some scratches on him, right? Oh, I forgot his um, cheek lines was close so like one there one there one coming down that way okay so his hand right is here holding the Rasengan right so we'll do hit the palm of his hand first so it just bumps up here right twice bump like that and the Rasengan is coming out so we have his thumb comes up this way or is it his thumb yeah it is and then the back of it is here and then the back of his hand sort of comes down around and then his wrist goes off this way and I think we can see a bit more of his clothing just here so that's not like the wrist on the other side it's his shoulder there okay so then, knuckle comes out the front, comes down here, down around, back around the bottom like that, and another phone line there. And we can kind of see knuckles at the back here as well, so like a finger kind of sticking out here, goes around to there. And then you can kind of see the tip of it just there and there's fingers that go in behind the Rasengan right but we got to draw the Rasengan so if you have again something circular I don't not the right size anyway okay let's try that again so I have a cup I think I need the cup for this one so let's try it again it's about the right size so let's just go around Might not be perfect because of the Sharpie pen. Well, the handle of the cup is messing me up. Ugh. <laughs> okay, not bad. Right, so we'll just go around this. We'll try and we'll keep this one, I think. We'll just go around. It's circular anyway. And I'll just erase those little mistakes. The handle messed me up in my cup. Will you betray me, cup? But it's better than the original. Circles. Ah, oh, circles, huh? Right. Sorry, now. Okay, so inside, so to do the Rasengan, right, so we'll go, you do this sort of, this sort of spiraling thing, right, inside, right, and you gradually sort of build it up, and you're going around the center, so this kind of center, sort of. build it up as much as you want because it's kind of like I've seen 
the drawings of it in the manga. I think like the one Kakashi did, like the first Rasengan, he did a lot of detail in it, so. Let me just kind of build it up like this. Cross them. I'm trying to make it look like a bit of a ball on the inside. I kind of like that. And then we can see a little bit more of his fingers coming out from behind here. So, like one goes in behind right there, and then another one goes in behind here. And then a finger sticks out from his hand. His little, no, his ring finger. Go around there. Around towards his shoulder, up this way. Down, up. Like that, in there. Maybe like another tiny little finger just in there. Right, so that's like his wrist. So, bottom of his hand and his wrist go back that way. And, and then if you want, you know, around, you know, you can add like wind and make it drawn in kind of like this kind of stuff. Yeah. Coming around from it. Going around and just sort of air lines and stuff like that. as you want really and dots and stuff all like that but that's basically Naruto so now we go over and we do um, Sasuke so where is he there all right so Sasuke looking intense as usual so we start with his nose again so L sort of shape Right, so we'll just go out like so, and then we will bring it around into there. Kind of a rounder top than Naruto's, but and then his forehead, so we ring it up out for his brow. Then up for his forehead, just a bit. It goes underneath hair, so we can't really see much of his forehead. I'll put his nostril in here now. Then his eyebrows, so mostly covered with hair, but we'll we'll draw it in right anyway. So it goes like up, ticks up, kind of vertical that way. And it's dark black, like so. And then his eye, top eyelid, kind of like Naruto, comes out here comes down the back and we add sort of just thicken up you know this sort of spike same sort of thing like that and the bottom eyelid can't see much just sort of curved line just there Right, so again, iris and pupil, so a sort of a thin circle again. And it's even colored red if you want, but we'll put his pupil just there, maybe like some Sharingan dots, but not much, because it's turned to the side. And then top eyelid, We'll go back that way. Naruto doesn't have a top eyelid. Hmm. You could give Naruto an eyelid. I think it will. He should have one. That way. Sasuke's goes back that way. Right, and then top lip curves out here. Goes in. And then it'll go out for his bottom lip. 
and then his mouth is closed, right? It goes in like this. And then it goes in and sort of real serious downturned kind of mouth, just down there. And then this curves down to the front of his chin, around, around his chin here. Like so. So Sasuke has loads of hair, like covering his face, right? Covering a lot of his face anyway. So we just start up here with these three at the front. One. Maybe move up that way. Two. This way, a third. Underneath there, like that. There's one coming out from behind his face here. And then another part of his fringe. This one comes down across his eye. Back up to there. And then we have the long ones that come down his face, right down here. Two. And then a third. Comes up here. Um, and then his hair comes out to the spikes around the back. So it kind of curves around the front goes back to these spikes back here. Like so, one, two, three, And he's got like a collar that comes across his chin here. So this will go like around like so. And we can see his earlobe and his ear just inside here. Top, down, and then some bones and ligaments inside the ear. Maybe a little bit of a jaw should be there. Okay, so the front of his collar is in here, and then his shoulder and the back. So it's kind of like Naruto, same sort of pose, right? So his shoulder out the front down this way another fold comes out down and it goes in that way and like his arm comes out from his sleeve like there and the other side of his sleeve is here another fold line goes down that way back of his collar is sort of here. Like this hair spike should be longer. I'll fix it in a second, sorry about that. Do -do -do. This one, I think this one should be just a little bit longer because like the back of his head should be going that way. Hair spike maybe out, it's just a bit further out here. I'll fix it now. Maybe we'll go out to here. Yeah, I think that's better. That's just, I'll erase that. I just noticed it was a little bit short. Um, right, so then shoulder coming back 
Lake Naruto back this way. there you can see his hand and his wristband and stuff up here so make another angle on that way and wristband coming in and then his hand coming up from his shoulder band here somewhere it's hard to make it out there and then the palm of his hand so we go so we here right and we'll go like Naruto so comes out and then curves around bumping twice right so then the rest of his wristband is like So then, hit the back of his hand and his thumb there, and then his thumb comes out the front, around like this, goes in, and then we have thumb line there, and then this comes out, down to there, and then more fingers come in this way, right? So comes out. So next finger out that way down bring it around like so and then back that way and then another one these fingers we can see slightly more of them than Naruto's down that way. This one actually goes behind his pinky, so his little finger is just here. And it comes out to there. In. So, come down to a knuckle, up. Like so. Right, and then, so we can just see there's all Chidori sort of spikes and stuff around his hand here, right? But we'll just get sort of the rest of his clothing done. So first, just comes around there. And then his belt kind of comes that way. We've got a fold line for the side of his body there. And then we have the sort of Uchiha crest here. It's like a... A red sort of crescent moon shape with a white shape underneath. Can't fit the whole thing in. But if you have more room, you can feel free. This goes down like a fold line down that way. And the fold line going that way. Right, and then I'll add just some like electricity, right? So you can do this with pure color if you want. You don't have to like draw it all in. But I will just because you know, you want to kind of know the shape and stuff like that. So you just add in these kind of spikes. Some of them will go off my page. They're just angles and... Various kind of shapes like this, right? Up. I'm not being super precious about it. I'm not kind of trying to copy the, the whole thing. Sometimes there might be some like flying off themselves. Kind of like 
that and if you want some coming out the front kind of like we do with the wind on Naruto and then some more sort of detail lines In between them but finally that is everything a revisit to draw Naruto versus Sasuke or Sengan versus Chidori hope it was helpful I think it's a little bit better like closer up than my previous one so hope it was helpful guys thanks for watching see you in the next one bye